This case has been taken from the oral pathology digital slide set prepared by Digiskin and will interest both pathology residents as well as oral pathology residents. Clinical history 52 year old male presented with rapidly growing painless non-tender swelling in the right parotid region for six to seven months skin over the swelling was smooth and non-rhythmatous no stretching or discoloration or ulceration was noted specimen of excised parotid gland was received for histopathological examination on gross examination parotid gland was enlarged and was almost completely replaced by a well circumscribed mildly lobulated solid tumor beefy red in color small area of necrosis and cystic degeneration was identified small rim of normal parotid gland was seen at the periphery of the tumor on microscopy a rim of normal parotid gland is seen rest of the parotid gland is completely replaced by a well circumscribed tumor which is showing hypercellular solid areas and hypercellular loose areas on zooming in on the solid area we see that the tumor is made up of round malignant cells which possess abundant pink cytoplasm and are arranged in sheets Merthotic activity is highly increased and prominent nucleoli are present in the nuclei here we see a merthotic figure and here we can see prominent nucleoli in the cells when we go to other areas we see infiltration of fatty tissue by tumor cells and there is marked pleomorphism in the tumor characterized by marked variation in size and shape of the hyperchromatic nuclei on moving around the slide adjacent area shows coagulative type of tumor necrosis another area nearby shows a bizarre tumor giant cell with multiple nuclei on panning the slide around we find undifferentiated tumor cells with high merthotic activity and abnormal merthotic figures one such abnormal merthotic figure is present in this field on navigating to other areas we find that the tumor cells are seen lining slit like spaces stromal tissue is minimal chondromyxoid stroma is not identified in some areas tumor cells are surrounding thin small papillary structures the papillae are of variable size and some appear solid in nature some cells appear to be having intracytoplasmic lumina there is no evidence of squamous or adenoid differentiation by the tumor the tumor does not show features of common malignant parotid gland tumors 
interface of tumor, with peripheral salivary tissue, reveals that it is not invaded by the tumor cells. So, we have a malignant tumor made up of undifferentiated epithelioid cells. Immunohistochemistry for pancytokeratin shows negative staining of tumor cells in contrast to the epithelial cells of normal parotid gland, excluding epithelial nature of malignant tumor cells. We can see strong positive staining of parotid acini. Immunohistochemistry for CD31, a vascular marker, shows strong reactivity of tumor cells both in the solid areas as well as in the papillary areas, indicating tumor of vascular origin. Based on histomorphological features and findings of immunohistochemistry, diagnosis of angiosarcoma of epithelioid type involving a rotted gland was made. This tumor is rare in salivary glands. Only four of all angiosarcomas have been reported, usually in the parotid gland, which may be primary or secondary in nature, or in the submandibular gland, which is generally primary in nature. Mean age is 55 years. There is no gender prevalence. Often, relatively good outcome is seen even with high grade features of the tumors of salivary glands on microscopy usually tumors are made up of spindle cells with solid or visoformative growth pattern but 28 cases may have epithelioid cells like in the present case Tumors may have low, intermediate, or high-grade features. Atypical vascular spaces are lined by endothelial cells with cytologic atypia and multilayering. Intracytoplasmic lumina containing red blood cells may be noted. Multinucleated cells brisk, metotic activity, and necrosis are common. On immunohistochemistry, tumor cells are positive for CD31 and CD34, which are vascular markers, and negative for epithelial markers like partiotokeratin. Thank you.